Well, hello, I'm Don Campbell, author of The Mozart Effect and 17 other books about music, sound, education, and transformation. I started out as a young kid in San Antonio, Texas, who was just in love with music. Every aspect of my life was nurtured by my parents' love for music, but it was not overly sophisticated. And after years of hearing my father play everything from the piano to the harmonica to the accordion, and I was studying piano and singing in the church choir, I had a magical event happen to me at age 13. My father got a job in Paris, and I became a student of Nadia Boulanger at the American Conservatory of Music. And at that moment, everything sharpened and clarified because I was actually able to hear some of the greatest musicians of Bernstein and Yehudi Menuhin. And I was just the South Texas young boy who suddenly became stunned with the power of sound and the power of art to transform attention, consciousness, and everything in the world. My path took me to uh, University of North Texas to study organ and education and music. Then it took me to Cincinnati Conservatory for graduate studies in conducting. And the next thing I knew, I was in Haiti, playing the organ at the cathedral, but also working in hospitals. And there I began to see the power of the drum, the power of indigenous chant. And I looked at my watch and it was 1970 and the world had exploded and I ended up in Tokyo. On my way to India forever, but I stayed in Japan seven years and taught music to children and adults from 60 different countries. And I began to get a different intuition of what it was in the fabric of great music. Not only the art, not only the entertainment, but the ability to use sound and the specific ingenuity that music had to transform language to transform attentiveness, and to allow communication between people who did not have a common language or even a common belief, politically or religiously. After years in Japan, I returned to Texas, and I found in my earliest research there that the brain could talk to itself. The jargon in those years was right and left brain. But then as attentiveness and as research continued, we began to realize that the limbic system, the middle of the brain, had an emotional rapport to it. And that the whole nervous system and the autonomic system and the whole breathing systems all had rhythmic qualities and tonal qualities. And always being, what I hope I can always say, a good classical musician. I found myself intrigued. It was as if going from a small room with a large orchestra to going to a universe with a voice. And being able to actually find that music is much more than what meets the ear. I began in the 19 early 80s to really ask what are the main questions? that would be of interest to the public at large, to teachers and to parents. I wrote a wonderful little book in 1983 called Introduction to the Musical Brain that just gave an easy way for teachers to look at the dynamic, the intellectual, the cognitive aspects of how music is usable, and also then the effective, the improvisational, the play, the tonal aspects. And that book which is now many, many years old, has lived and lived and inspired many people, and I continue to look at it for creative inspiration. I began meeting people. I began to have the opportunity to perform and to compose, and my basic core is that of, of being a teacher. And perhaps maybe in this field of sound and therapy and uh, kind of a universal use of what uh, the rhythms and the sounds and the language are about, I, I think I'm really quite a missionary. And that my job has been for a long time 
to find ways to translate, find ways to language, interesting things that are not necessarily esoteric are too clinical. I like to be able, as on my website, MozartEffect.com, is to give people resources so they can go to the dynamic research and who's doing the best job in it. That they can go to the aesthetic aspect of how do I learn to improvise? How do I just put this together in my life and I don't have any musical uh, background? And so I'm always looking at ways to find the translation of this incredible research into the application of how people can use music to improve their life day after day, how they can improve the stress in their families, how they can activate their children to want to develop better in language, and how also they can inspire their own heart.